Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Pernell Charles Jr., wants the nation's youth to be excited about agriculture, addressing the inaugural Hybrid Agribusiness Investment Forum hosted by the Agroinvestment Corporation recently. Minister Charles encouraged young people to see farmers as innovators and creators and to utilize the appropriate technology. Outlining some of the projects that the ministry is using to expand the sector, the minister notes a major investment in the Holland Agroeconomic Zone. He says the ministry has secured investment of $120 million for the Holland Agroeconomic Zone, where a factory is being constructed right now to expand agro-processing. Unlocking the potential, and we must connect the dots. So the cultivation must be connected in a sustainable way, introducing climate smart technology so that we understand our vulnerability to the climate, climatic conditions and we're connecting that to the irrigation, to the agro-processing, to the markets and having that cycle. All of that must be on the basis of teaching our youngsters how to do what they can already see as their future, farming. He says the expansion of the agricultural sector includes facilitating investments on a large scale, identifying and strengthening Jamaica's comparative advantages, utilizing idle lands and formulating partnerships. The minister says there are eight agro-parks, nine agricultural production zones and 5,308 acres under the management of the AIC, with more than 500 farmers. We want to dive into the reality of the several hundreds of acres that our rural, rural women network wants us to tap into so that we can say to Jamaica that there's no longer idle land. But if you see land that is not cultivated, it's because we choose for it to not be cultivated. We must put the assets that we have been given to good use. He says Jamaica is looking to tap into markets in the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and elsewhere. Recalling the February launch of the agri-production zone in New Penn, St. Mary, where farmers are being identified to help increase Jamaica's Irish potato production, he notes that last year there was a 40% increase in production locally, and IAC accounted for 25% of that.